guys welcome back to my channel trailer to here and of course we have my lovely husband as a guest today mm -hmm. so as you can see by the title today we'll speak about on how we met or where we met or king how should i say it? yeah basically how we met our love story, story yeah. yeah our love story and how we actually got to get be here, here or yeah. be here today but before we start can you please subscribe bona comment and what like, like share and whatever because i feel like a lot of people they ask me okay like where did you guys meet like how how did this whole love story begin so today we'll be telling you guys where Everything. it all started mm -hmm. born like every single detail mm -hmm. so let's get it so obviously i think you're gonna start because yeah. quite a lot of in this whole day yeah. so yeah go ahead so let's basically hear. how it started uh, back in 2017 when we were still attending our previous church mm -hmm. Um, they would do this camps, like yeah, conference camp, camp, yeah, mountain of what dot camp. Yeah. So throughout, I think it was a Saturday, right? Yeah, I think it was a Saturday. Yeah, it was a Saturday. Yeah. So, but also, bear in mind, we used to do like it, the camps used to be every month end. Yeah, every month. Yeah. End. So yeah. we you'd only see me every month end. Continue. Yeah, every month. So mm -hmm. basically, what happened? I don't know why I was not seeing you because I've been in that church since like twenty. Lynn, that's something that I actually asked myself. And I was like a leader and everything. Yeah. Everyone knew me, so I couldn't mm -hmm. understand why you didn't know me. Why didn't I actually notice you? Because I, I also think the time like when we started talking, it was what maybe a year. Lynn, that's it. Like a year So oh. I couldn't understand. Okay, why don't I know you? Yeah. Yeah, it didn't make sense. But anyway. <laughs> so then I was sitting with a. Uh, a friend of mine, she was almost like a sister to me, right? Mm -hmm. Sitting beside her, and then we're like worshiping, kind of okay, worshiping, worshiping, worshiping. And I'm like, thanks, you know, okay, if you are, if you are, if you are literally South African, you know, thanks, <laughs> meaning like I just like, I don't know, caught a glimpse of her. Yeah, yeah like, you know, like when you look at them, you're like, oh, okay, I see yeah. you, yeah. So I was too stunned to speak or too, <laughs> or too stunned to worship. Okay. So I like, yay, okay, okay, okay. And then I saw her, you're we worshipping. Well, I'm not gonna say how she was watching, yeah. but she was in the spirit, <laughs> like, okay, she was in the spirit worshipping God with all of her heart and soul. And I was like, I really love what I'm seeing. That's like, okay. I, really, I really love what I'm seeing. <laughs> So, okay. so yeah, I saw what I saw and I was like, I really love what I'm seeing and definitely that is mine. She is my wife. So I told, uh, I would say, sister friend yeah. next to me, I said, do you see that girl right there? That is my wife. She's like, oh, nah, she just <laughs> buys me. Huh? Yeah, I'm like, that is my, that is my wife right there. We continue to worship. Then, was it? Was it the same month or the next month end? I'm not sure. Uh, at, oh, oh no, yeah, maybe yeah. the next day was the next ah, month end. Yeah, yeah. it was okay. the next month end. I think three month end from then. Because as I said, I saw you the other times, but I was not scared to approach yeah. you. Yeah, it was Baba. Gua Baba. So if you don't know what Gua Baba <laughs> means, it simply means you being afraid of approaching a girl and telling her. Yeah. Tell her your story. Yes. So I was afraid, but at the same time, through that fear, I was I was able to pray. And kind of really understand because I felt it so strong in me, like, oh, she is mine. So I couldn't differentiate if it just last or what. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> or just, I'm just infatuated by the beauty mm -hmm. or anything. So, but I I felt it, like, I'd like any other girl that I've ever seen. Don't cry. I won't, <laughs> I won't. Like, I'm just, like, it felt like it's the first time I'm actually hearing this. That's why. <laughs> so, seeing her, and then, yeah, throughout those three months, like, yeah, I'll just pray to you. God. Hey, did you see what I saw? Mm. Understand? <laughs> so, but on the third month, what happened on the third month? Then now another church conference happens, um, and now it was a Saturday. I was holding my nephew, mm -hmm. and he was a bit grumpy that day. So, took him out of church because he's making noise. As I'm coming out, there at the entrance. No, as you were coming in, and then now I was coming out. Okay. Yeah. Doesn't matter. So I, I now I know. I know. <laughs> okay. Yeah. As I was coming in back into the yes, church. Yes. I was, I was like, oh, okay, I'm gonna shoot my shot. I'm like, hey, the baby's crying. Would you like to hold him? Like, and, and here's the thing. I, I was like, you say. no, the thing is, I was so tired. I was out of prayer intercession. If you know in African churches, hey, it goes down. Yeah, it goes in the down. Session. You shake yeah. the <laughs> So I was so tired and then I was, I think I was going to the bathroom and mm. now here's this guy saying, okay, the baby's crying, what should I do? I'm like, wow, yeah, can you not see? You're like, what's happening to me? I was so tired. 
Then I just looked at him like, no, I don't know. Then she was so mesmerized. Mind. I'm like, how oh, this guy? What's wrong with him now? Yeah, <laughs> this, yeah, that's how I felt. And I, and I and I think afterwards, the second time again on that same day, I think I also came with it. Or when you came out of the bathroom, I'm not sure now. You know, I mean, now according to me, you guys were not there. Yeah. I came out of the ba the bathroom. Yeah. So, so I, I think I guess that was a Saturday. I think mm. one Sunday, and then that's when you saw me again. Yeah. Then yeah. I started to yeah. talk. I, I I don't remember. Uh, I don't remember vividly yeah, the, no, the no, details, no. right, yeah. of how that actually went about. But yeah, I think I did approach you. Started talking. Yeah. How are you? Hey, I don't know you. Yeah. I think it was more like, why don't I know you? Yeah. You're like, do you know me? You know, <laughs> do you know me? Because like, I was well known. Do you know me? Yeah. And then, okay, skip to the next month. Yeah. That's yeah. when we like, okay, uh, hello. Yeah, hi, hi, I see you. I see yeah. Oh, no, no, no. It was actually, you were upstairs. So the church had an oh, upstairs. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, and I think, I don't know what you were thinking. You're just sitting there in the window. It's just, and I was like, oh my yeah, God. Yeah, I was doing this. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're done your... It was yeah, like you, it was your great. Yeah, it was so great. yeah, I think you're just giving it some fresh air. <laughs> yeah, because it was painful at the time. <laughs> so then she was giving her braid some fresh air, almost mm -hmm. like she's white. And then I went about and I'm like, I'm gonna go. So, but I was still sitting with my sisters in Christ, and I'm like, sisters in Christ, here's my wife, right? <laughs> yeah, it was sisters in Christ. Okay. So I was like, here's my wife, right? So as I go there, I'm like, okay, hi, how are you? Doing? Oh, but like, kind of asked, like, when you were coming towards mm. my direction, like, what do we think? We're like, okay, we're doing this, we're going for the one. No, the thing is, I didn't want to jump into dating as of yet or oh. Uzama Hufasa. Yeah. Yeah, because you, I, I, I'll tell them. Okay. Yeah, but you know exactly, right? So, but uh, as I went there, I was like going as like, okay, church mate, friend, kind of yeah. thing. I was not going like in, with the intention, like, I want to let her know, hey, I achieved this, how I feel about yeah. you. Understand? So when I got there, I was like, hi, oh, hi, okay, I still remember me with the baby and everything. Oh, how are you doing? And okay, of course, we started talking then. Yeah. So we started talking. Oh, you asked for a picture. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we were no. going to insert it, Konana. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, so we started talking as friends. And yeah, I get like when we were there at the balcony, we were speaking sharp, and then you said, Can you please, can I please take a picture? Yeah, then we took, you took a, a picture. picture and then they're doing but so cute, sister. though. Like, yeah, very cute. Very, nice. very cute. <laughs> I want to say thank you for asking for a picture at that very moment because like, yeah. so at least our first picture looks mm. Yes. So, of course, <laughs> after, yeah, so after, okay, we took the picture, we continued to talk more. Yeah. Yeah, we actually went inside at the top floor and we're sitting on a sponge because yes. you know, people sleep there. So we're like, okay, let's chill now. We've yeah. been standing for a very long time. Then we, you know, one thing that I just liked about the whole conversation, before I tell them, okay. you know, we're talking about our gifts. We're talking about what the Lord has done, mm. the visions of have had, and our zeal for God, like what we love to do for God. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I like to preach this and this and this. And already on my side, yes, it was more than visible because yeah. I was, I was yeah. active in that. Mm -hmm. And then within that, as we're talking, I, we got to some part where I was like, would you be my wife if I asked you to be my wife? I don't know why, and like, what made you ask that question? And I don't I think I've asked you this. As I said, at the beginning when I saw you, that feeling that I had. Oh, so, but okay, at the same yeah. time, I didn't want to jump into content. Oh. No way you were going with mm. too much speed. So I was a little bit, I was testing the yeah. one foot. <laughs> to one see foot. if no was, yes, see, yeah. yes or no. Yeah, so okay. I was like, let me, I don't want to tell her and shoot my shot. Yeah. Then I get rejected. <laughs> yeah, it's I'm like, you know what, okay, let me, let me. Yeah, yeah so you just test it. Yeah, yeah so now, according to me, with that yeah. whole conversation sitting there, yeah, it stood out for me, okay, like the way he loves God so much. It was like, Still oh, love okay. God now. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so it was like, because obviously, I mean, at the age that we were, mm -hmm. not a lot of boys are actually into like going to church, you know, mostly they are forced. Yeah. You, you know, their parents forced them to go to church. So it was like, okay, like this guy genuinely loves God and he mm -hmm. genuinely, uh, king, kind of, what's this word? Serves God, right? yeah, serves God basically. Yeah. So that actually caught my attention, and him telling 
me his visions you know like what he wants to be one day i was like wow it was actually the you, first time i told you that, that i'm actually a trader <laughs> i do this every single detail mm -hmm. yeah yeah a stranger so, but i told you everything <laughs> <laughs> to me it was like wow someone his age is actually thinking of you know such things in life so yeah. it yeah it, it caught my attention and we had a lot of, a lot in common I guess yeah, what we had a lot in common. yeah so we were speaking like okay me too me too you know in a conversation yeah Nami I also love this you also like this so yeah now that's what caught my attention and I think that's what also made me say yes without even thinking oh well, by the way yeah. Yeah, she said yes <laughs> to that answer oh I mean in my mind I was dancing yeah, yeah, yeah. I was I was doing all kind of dance in my mind I was happy yeah, because mm. in my head, I'm like, okay, I think we were speaking then, all of a sudden, like, if I asked you to marry me, would you say yes? Mm. I'm like, yeah. Yes on the spot. Yeah, when well, I said yes, in yeah. my head, I'm thinking, how? Uh, how you say? <laughs> What's happening now? Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, sure, but I just said yes, and then, yeah, and it's a yes. <laughs> <laughs> we are here today. Yeah. So yeah, and then oh, and then you give, you asked me for my number. Yeah, yeah, so I asked you for the numbers. She gave the boy the numbers. I was happy. Excited. <laughs> she said yes. If I marry her, I'm like, Lord, I think I've secured. Ah, yeah. I think I secured. <laughs> so yeah, fast forward though to us talking on WhatsApp. Yeah. You know, I was doing those compliments, punchlines. Hey, the punchlines. So as I said, guys, I was doing it slowly, but I was also just you know, hoying it just a little bit. Yeah. Just to show her the brother. Yeah, and I'm, I'm actually interested in actually, another thing, not friendship. Yeah, <laughs> I was actually interested. But and like, so do you feel like in any whatever kind of lapu did I friend zone you? Eh, not even friend zone, family zone. Because, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because. In fact, yeah, like within me throwing all of those punchlines and you're like, oh, and then Jiggy Jiggy, you post the picture. I said, my brother in Christ. No, at first, she posts the picture, right? And she cuts me off. Because that picture was cute. Like, yeah. I was looking cute, so I didn't know how you were actually going to feel. Yeah, and, and your mother was going to see yeah. But I'm like, and your, yeah. And your parents as well were going to see it. And yeah. my brother in Christ, like, oh, come on. Okay, let I, me explain why I put you in the brother zone. Okay. Yeah. The thing is, I like, he, as I said, he was well known in church, what yeah. I find, you know, this praying guy and whatnot. And now I just, and also the, the age difference, because it was actually my first time being with someone. Yeah. Yeah, on fit and other years that you have. So it was like, okay, uh, it didn't make sense to me, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, I just put him in the brother thing. I'm like, okay, I, I was taking him as a brother, because. I knew your friend. Yeah. I won't say names. Yeah. yeah, so he was also older. So I'm like, okay, we show that friends. They're both my brothers. Yeah. That's how I took it. Okay. So you thought I was actually his age and I was actually. Yeah. Like, so I'm like, okay, yeah. sure. These people, they're my brothers. It's fine. We'll all play together, laugh and whatnot. I didn't think I was thinking other stuff. But now I got to notice it as he was throwing in his pants. And I yeah. thought, oh, okay, it's another story. It's another story. <laughs> but then. While I was still punching or punchlining, yeah, whatever. Like, you know, throwing in the comments, I was still very much respective of the yeah, thing. Yeah, a lot. Take mm -hmm. it a bit slower. And Miguel was like, oh, oh, brother, you are taking it <laughs> too slow. Tell them what you did. It was too slow for my Nike. <laughs> it was too slow. No, because I, I feel like he had made it. What? Too obvious. Yeah, too obvious. So this is what you want. So yeah. I'm like, okay, sharp. You know, every day I'd wait, thinking, okay, at the end of the day, he'll tell me, like, okay, you know, yeah, this what I'm. I love so you. now so. days are passing. How? Okay, he's throwing in the punchline, but mm, why not saying anything? <laughs> that was me. And then the last punchline that got me, kind of thing that that was, I know it. I just don't know. Okay, yeah. King, an angel is missing in heaven. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, tell them that punchline. <laughs> I was like, okay, uh, I was like, I just got a missed call. Yeah. From, oh, I just got a call from heaven. Mm -hmm. They say there's an angel missing. Yeah. It must be you. It must be you. <laughs> and I'm like, ah! She got mad. She got mad. <laughs> it was I, the first time that I actually heard them. So I'm like, oh, ah, yeah, it's a okay. big I'm, I'm, like, yes. I'm an angel now. I'm like, okay, sure. Which is but, practically inaccurate, but you know what? Yeah, that's what I think. We didn't know. Basically. We didn't know. Yeah, so I'm like, okay. Oh, so me, you know, every day hoping, okay, this guy will mm -hmm. speak, okay, this is what I want from me, and he didn't, and I was like, you know what, yeah, hey, chief, uh, I can't, uh, <laughs> I'm and falling girl in love shot with you. Shot. <laughs> Definitely the girl shot Yeah, I'm, shot. Like, hey, I'm falling in love with you, mm -hmm. and yeah, and 
Yeah. Why not? Because yeah. that's when I can also see you and you're also falling in love. So yeah, yeah. let's just do it. Yeah. yeah. And of course, when when she had said that, I felt like, okay, yes, we we love each other. We're still young. We're still in high school. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, can't we do it like after we finish? Yeah. Or like four years later. Oh. Like, that's what I said, right? <laughs> Because I was in about grade 11, yeah, grade 11, grade 10, yeah, yeah. somewhere there. And I was going to grade 9. Yeah, you were going yeah, to I'm grade 9, so I'm like, ah, no, man, let's just finish. And I think oh. also thinking this thing, yeah, it will be a long distance, I think that's yeah. why you were also thinking. No, no, not really, I was just like, ah, yeah, well, I was not thinking about the distance by then. Okay. So, but I was just thinking, no, I just want to do it in a very godly manner, respectful. You understand, like, I was like, God-fearing. Yeah, yeah. I'm still God-fearing, <laughs> but... I wanted because I felt like God called me like yeah, we're yeah. meant for each other so yes. I didn't want to sabotage what yeah. God oh. had for us so in that manner like four years later yeah for, and now I, mean, I also did agree yeah you did agree but you know we're not robots <laughs> <laughs> so because of course if you love someone and you're constantly talking to them yeah but one thing I think that made us even uh, escalating so fast right as we said four years, but as we begin to talk over the phone, yeah. I'll call you every after school when mm -hmm. I, and I'll be walking. I used to stay in, in Denville, so we'll mm -hmm. get off the, 20, the city of 20 bus and get off there. And the first thing I'll do, go to my friend and buy a time. <laughs> <laughs> buy a time and call her. And by the way, her, her voice used to fluctuate. Ah. <laughs> but it was I don't know how to get clapping puberty. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So it so used to fluctuate the bit. Like, eh. This day I'm getting this, you know, this Today day. I'm a man, tomorrow hey. I'm my sister. You don't know what is what. So, but, it wasn't me. But it was kind of, it was, yeah, really, really cute, right? So, talk, and then there was times where, I don't know, God was, now as we look at it and sit down, mm. right? So there were times where we would pray on the phone and we would talk about issues like generational curses, yeah. what happened on your mother's side, what mm. happened on your father's side, like what it, yeah, like what is it there that mm -hmm. that you see that will affect? Yeah, that will affect us in the future, future. or our children. Because as yeah, I think it was quite obvious. Like we both knew we wanted to get married, married at some yeah. point. So, so our yeah. intention already by then was yeah. laid out that we wanna get married. Mm -hmm. And in fact, we well, we wanted to like start dating and a few months get married and after that four married, years. Yeah, right? after that. So we had always intended to be married. Yeah, like, right. It now. was the foundation of our relationship. It was the yeah. very foundation and our intention to be married as of now. Mm -hmm. So that time you know, we were talking and then we prayed, we prayed. Yeah, like we always like we got one hour gone, just one pray. Hour. Pray, no. pray, 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 pray. We will pray with you, pray breaking generational Yo. curses, breaking bloodline curses. Like anything, anything. That, like anything that could potentially uh, sabotage or hinder our uh, future yeah. or our relationship on its own. Like we, we just prayed against it. We didn't we want just, to know what it was. Like, you know what? We just pray. Yeah, because I feel like we were kind of king, paving our, our, yeah, uh, our, journey, our, our journey, you know, fixing it. By the time we get here, we don't have to work as much. Mm -hmm. Like when we are there, we just need to smooth and God's blessings. No time to be breaking stuff yeah. so we broke all of that what five years ago yeah, five now years. we're enjoying God's blessings and yeah. Vela also the next five years everything is broken so everything no, is broken yeah everything is gone so okay. I think that is that is something that you also need to take yeah, from take this whole video if there's anything that you're going to take ask each take other ask each other thing. first yeah ask each other, see all of those, oh, no, my grandfather did this, mm. my father also did this, mm. and then it, there's a high chance it will pass on to you. So that is what we call a generational curse or yeah. a, a bloodline curse. Mm -hmm. So it's very much important that as you're dating, ask each other some of these things. So what happened? Are your parents, hey, what? Yeah. They said, no, ask each other, and then if it's something that's really, you know, you can see. Yeah, you can see, no, you know, every things. generation, everyone in my family has it's, went through this. Yeah. Thing. Whether it be sickness or what, it yeah. needs to be out of their life. It needs to be out, so that be because, out. I mean, like right now we have a child. Mm -hmm. So I believe, like, whatever we prayed for, it cannot come to our yeah, child. Yeah, it can't. Yeah. Yeah. So I think uh, I was trying to say that thing mm -hmm. really helped to escalate everything. Yes, it was spiritual, but it also touched on a very emotional side. Like mm -hmm. I was like confirmed, oh my God, this is a dream come true. Yeah. You understand? I've never had somebody who will match me up spiritually. Mm -hmm. Every time, probably if I would be in a relationship or something, I would be the hyper spiritual guy. Also me, like that's what I was yeah. saying. It's something that caught my attention. Yeah. Like wow, this guy, like he's. 
he saw into God. He where, yeah, into God. we understand. In my past relationship, was like, ah, okay, so yeah, you're forced to go to church, and that's it. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So I was always the hyper, but now somebody is matching me mm-hmm. and is flowing at the frequency in the spirit that I'm flowing in, mm-hmm. and would even go to points where we would have dreams, even as right now some yeah. of the things that we have. These dreams that we had then. Yeah, and like I like, was yesterday was speaking like, yeah. oh, like God is literally, you know, making everything it come, come to, to pass. pass. Like you remember two years ago, I was thinking about this, and look now, it's actually coming We're to in pass. This house like, like what? We would scroll like on property twenty four in the very house that we are in. We scrolled it, you know, three years ago, four years ago, even the flats. The mm, yeah, after we got after married, we, got married. <laughs> we actually scroll them and we had planned that we're gonna yeah. live together. We actually had the screenshot, pray over them. It was pray. even the wallpaper. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> even the wallpaper, like yes. that's so cool. It's so cool. <laughs> Sure, yeah. sure, sure. You think of the, the things that we're actually doing, and we're not just doing it in vain. God was actually watching. Now, now yeah. for, for me, it was like, wow, like I'm grateful that God showed us or led us. Mm-hmm. And you know, it, 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 it goes back to that scripture the steps of a righteous man are ordered by the Lord. Mm-hmm. So, God was like ordering us to pray this way, to speak things into existence. And I said, now that we have it, we're even more grateful and we understand God's greatness at this yep. moment. Mm-hmm. And we're even more strengthened to trust Him for more things. So yeah. I, I, I do urge people to actually do that more often. Don't just date because yeah, you yeah. love each other. Speak mm-hmm. things into Speak existence. Speak things into the, their existence and the future. And the we future. need to know, okay, next year, this is what we are asking from God. And definitely do know God is going to do it because, yeah. wow. We are living with the testimony. Yeah, yeah that's how they say it. <laughs> we are living the yeah. testimony. And then, yeah, the dating phase. Yeah, that yeah, part, you know. Phase. Yeah. And then also, the two men would actually prophesy each other. Yeah, she prophesied <laughs> me a lot, guys. She literally prophesied me a lot. <laughs> the amount of prophecies, and I think, oh, that's what. Oh, I, I don't want to say the way that I was thinking to say. Yeah. What, uh, what is it? Tell me off. <laughs> Okay. Not turn me on as in like, yeah, but I, I get what you say, yes. But turn me on, like, oh my god, this is my wife. Mm-hmm. She's able to see even deeper things, and like, oh. And now I think, like, us king being able to do that, it will always confirm to us, like, we're actually meant to be together. Yeah. You know, if we can get to that point, really, to, to see one's future and whatnot, it mm. oh, like, always, you gotta let me ask yes, yeah. yes, yes. We will see all the boxes, Passport. like, yep. Yeah, with your wife, please don't even think two times about that. This is your wife, this is your husband. Yeah. So that helped a lot. It, yeah. it did. And there's a part, right? As we move along, we still stay in Denver. Then we moved to Harango. She was staying in Bretz. Mm-hmm. Right? Now I've moved her away from Bretz. <laughs> right? She, yeah, she was staying in Bretz. And we moved to Harango. And of course, everything financially from my mother's side, family just mm-hmm. went down. Literally. Down, 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 down. Yeah. I was in Madrid by yeah. then, you know, commuting from Pretoria all the way yeah. to Karangua, but I had to leave early in the morning to, oh, you know, it was hectic. But after I finished Madrid, I think that's why it became yeah, it more became hectic. Worse. Yeah, way hectic. And I believe yeah. God was like testing you. I think you yeah, can tell that, 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 that <laughs> <laughs> You can tell them all. Would you like test that? To be honest, yes, you know, everything was fine. I mean, you know, his parents took whatever, and then also my side, I mean, yeah. Mm. We, we didn't do this thing of, okay, um, you give me that or what, it was yeah. just, just dating on his own. Yeah. So, yeah, things got bad on his side of the family. And, yeah, now to me, it was, yeah, God was testing me. That yeah. was, hey, we did not test. Yeah. <laughs> so, then, yeah, okay, continue. And especially after I had left home for some few reasons. Yeah. Right? yeah. I, I moved yeah. out and stayed with a friend. I was thinking trading is gonna just make me this millionaire and I'm overnight, gonna, overnight yeah. and I'm gonna yeah. you know, drive a nice car and always fetch you and everything. Yeah, it was a dream. All of those promises that I told yeah, you. Yeah, all of the promises. And now, like, I, I am a lady, obviously, you know, and we all have dreams of, you know, I do now wish my guy can come and do this and yeah. do that. I said McDonald's, by then McDonald's or something, okay? No, it's just like, <laughs> Now it's not. So, like, yeah. you know, all of those wishes, and now me looking at the yo, my guy can't even buy me a tie. Yeah, I couldn't point. even buy a tie. It was at that point where he can't buy me five friends at a time. 
Now, obviously, the devil being the devil, I'm not going to blame I'm going to The devil being the devil, he'll bring about very long way to get. Cheese no, boy. Like cheese boy. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm a demon. And me, imagine, I mean, obviously, we're in a very serious relationship and we've told each other we're going to get married yeah. to each other and all of that. So, me, I said, you're okay. At this point, he has nothing. But it doesn't mean really, the next year or tomorrow, he won't have nothing, yeah. right? So all of these cheese boys sharp that are coming their way, it's time to shut that shot, what not. Yeah, the yeah. stress out good too. Yeah, right? stress that, you know, <sighs> and I always felt like, yes, I would get uh, tem tempted or, yeah. yeah, temptation on its own, right? But at the end of the day, I would think, oh, you know what, God, uh, yes, this guy is here, but I don't think he, it's nothing compared to who he, who he is, basically. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Besides yeah. now, Kira, like you yourself as character, not what oh, you have. Yeah. You yourself think you're okay, the way you love God so much and comparing you mm. to those people, there was zero like that. I, yeah. I, I, zero I couldn't character. even, yeah, yeah. Mm. I couldn't even say, you know what, I'll build my life with this person. Mm. I, yeah. I won't even, Bona, I won't even do that mistake. So yes, uh, that happened, temptation mm. and what, and you know, it wasn't nice because me thinking, oh, okay, all I know nice, and then this one, Nicolo and whatnot, okay. everything is there, someone can easily take me to McDonald's and what, but me now telling myself, you know what, so you need to look at the future. Yeah. I, I so much believed in him because of all of his visions and everything, mm. and then me, like, I don't know, I just had this belief, you know what, this guy, <laughs> this guy, there's just something about him. Yeah. Besides this character, but I always knew inside of me, he is going to make it. I guess it's going to, oh, maybe it's because of how we are, like, we are push, and, like, yeah. you just don't give up. So I always knew, and I knew, like, God is working with him. Yes, at that time, things were hard, but I knew it will not last forever. Definitely, yeah. it will not last forever. Yeah. It was for that certain period, and I knew, I do test. I don't test it, because I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> So I always had it in me, you know, and I, I tell it, even if one of these can do this or someone can say, hey, let's do this. I'm like, no, man, can I move to have someone and I know we're going to go far because yes. also dreams would confirm it to, to me. I'm yeah. like, I'd have so much dreams. I'm like, yo, God, okay, I see you shaping this. But now the devil is also presenting another person all the way. The person, well yeah, the person is going to take over the needs that now. Not in the future, yeah. you know. And for example, I knew very well. Let's say, because since I came, like we got pregnant, I knew very well. If, if I could have gotten pregnant for a certain person right now, mm -hmm. there was no way we would be in this region. Yeah. I, I knew exactly that uh, there's, there's no future. Mm -hmm. Just for now, it's something I felt there's like. There's no future now. Yeah, there's no future now. <laughs> <laughs> there was no future, so I knew. You okay, know what? My future is secured with him. Yeah. I knew it deep down and I kept on believing in him and also me helping him wherever I could because things were hard. He was yeah. staying in the front. So you should, you know. you should chip in just yeah, there. Yeah, here and there. Even help for me. my trading Yeah, accounts. also the trading, you know, I'd have so much faith in him, you know. Then, He'll tell me, you know what, baby, there's an event, what not coming. I see I'm going to make a lot of money and me being that <laughs> girlfriend, I believed so much in this guy. I'm like, you know what, you should God, send me that money. I'd send him this amount sharp and obviously in the morning then after school i can't wait to go and call him did you make how much then i made zero minus zero, zero. <laughs> that money that i said him is all we'll gone. gone within seconds yeah right. within seconds okay yeah. sharp wouldn't be nice we'll get emotional fine and then the other month again wait wait, wait just before you go okay. so what what happened after i mean i would lose or tell you You'd obviously be frustrated and almost cry, but at the same time, I'll also tell you how much I'm frustrated, mm. and you'd see how down I am, and you'd motivate me. So not just, so you wouldn't just give me money, but you also motivate me in that down moment because I'm pretty much devastated. Yeah. I'm frustrated. I'm just here staying with my friend. I don't know. Just, He's just gonna say, "Bra, go in." Yeah, time. just go in. Yeah. Where's you gonna go? Where yeah. am I gonna go? Home is not the place where I wanna find myself at. Yeah. I was just so frustrated, but you'd always know, let me know that I should trust on the promises of God. Yeah. And you always strengthen me and pray with me. You know, the mm -hmm. moments where you pray over me, and I'm like, yo, baby, I'm just, I'm just weak. I'm just weak. And you cry. <laughs> I'm just weak. I am just so weak at heart, but you'd pray over me, and I would. Carol being strengthened and push even more. Mm, push even more and yeah. then you know all of the motivation trying to be strong just for you, you know what? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I like 
as I said, there's something that always told me okay, <laughs> there's no way you guys are going to end up with the situation. There is absolutely no way. Yeah. So, oh, that few months of it, another month, okay, I'm seeing this, I, I need to trade. I only think NFP, I need to trade. NFP, <laughs> let's check it guys. Hey, yeah. <laughs> NFP, okay, sharp, oh, I would believe I'm like, God, please, this one, please now, please. Yeah. Send the money after school, I call. Ah, done. From scratch, now I have to become the motivational speaker, speaker even though I'm the one who... So yeah, as I was saying, uh, all of the hard times and all of that, but yeah, we did manage to get through it, yeah. and he got into college, yeah. Got so, bright, eh? Got bright, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, from <laughs> there. Yeah, so from there, you know, life became easier. Yeah, it became much and, easier. And you know, it shows the way we're so tested. Everywhere we'd go, people will prophesy us. So we go to church, uh -huh. the both of us, and they're like, you guys should stay together because mm -hmm. God is going to take you far together. We see you going international, we see you this, a lot of stuff, but God is going to, mm -hmm. you guys need to stay together. And yeah. we even bless our, our, our small relationship. Yeah, as much as like we know, especially in the black community, yeah. you know, like the dating thing is not really Relax so, accepted. you know, so us being accepted in a church and them acknowledging, you know, yeah. these people are actually together. Yes, they're not yet married, but they could see the future. Yeah. This is this is something else. They are meant to be together besides yeah. the blessing part, but they could see we, we are yeah. meant to be together and they respect it so much, even yeah. elder people. Yeah, even and I was elder, like, yeah. okay. Even elder people <laughs> came to us, sense. like yeah. really pastors, they will come to us they, you guys should need to continue in the road that you're pushing. Yeah. I see you guys making it. And you know, yeah, being in Brett's, you know, college, and even God would like put, you know, by then now I had a mother. You yeah. know? So our, our, our race accommodation landlord, she mm -hmm. was so amazing. She also believed in us. A lot. She fought for us. She believed in us. She, she prayed over us. She guided us financially. Gave us a lot of wisdom a lot a lot of wisdom financially but that's when actually we started to see a lot of things open up thanks mm -hmm. to god and that's fast you know, <laughs> finding now the account of large amounts of money yeah. at least i was able but i was also able to take you to them now hey, wait, no, I, I was able yeah. to take you to the dates i was able to you see do? them more often mm -hmm. So now everything, I think that's where we're now, like like literally together, not just call wise, yeah. or I see you once in a month, or, or once in three months, or anything like that, or video call in the first three yeah. days, and singing the uh, national anthem, oh, I miss you, I miss you, when I want everything. Yeah, I miss ah. you. <laughs> so, yeah, I think that's where everything, we started to see everything. Really. Yeah, everything coming to pass, or yeah. going the right way, oh, and yeah. God definitely did use Mommy, yeah, the, uh, we just call her mommy. mommy. Yeah, she's the one that, if you know my pregnancy story, yeah. She's the one that, that, yeah. Yeah, that she <laughs> was fought for us or fought for us, yeah. yeah. Basically, so yeah, that was fast forward and then, yeah, 2020, uh, June, we found out we were pregnant. Yeah, we got too excited with God's blessings. <laughs> <laughs> got too okay. excited with God's blessings. And yeah, uh, yeah. we were pretty much honest. Mm -hmm. We got too yeah. excited with God's blessings. And we find ourselves having another blessing. Another one. <laughs> and God even tripled our bona ten yeah. times everything. Like those blessings, everything just went, yeah. you know, because of Judah. I thank you. And yeah. I thank God. Yeah, but so, our, yeah. at first, I mean, you have told you the story. Yeah. We were quite devastated. Mm -hmm. We didn't know what was for the future. At the same time, we're like, oh Lord, we repent. <laughs> <laughs> You know, and then I think we never thought it could even happen. Yeah, like, we just like okay. Yeah. yeah, we don't need to say details, guys. No, yeah. <laughs> but we're just naughty on the side, and like okay, we're fine. You understand? But you know, God really helped us, especially when we saw our pure heart. Mm -hmm. And I think also saying to God, okay, Lord, our intentions now that we're here, yeah, our intentions, we're, here. we're actually married. Please empower us to marry and correct this mistake. Yeah, you understand? And then from then on, that's when we, I told you, yeah, I mean, we've told you. Yeah, this part story. we have told you. Yeah. So yeah, I think we are actually at the end of our video. Mm -hmm. And then the next video that's going to come with this one is going to be how we prepared for our wedding, yeah. basically. So after yeah. this now, the whole preparation. Yeah, because I get it ends where we found out we were pregnant. They're like, okay, we need to get married then. The next video after this one, it will be how we prepared for our wedding and whatnot. Yeah. So yeah, I think it's also part of our love journey kind yeah. of thing. 
so yeah this is where it's going to end today and then the next video you know what to expect mm -hmm. so yeah if you have gotten here why you should subscribe please please, please 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 i mean this is beautiful nah yeah. according to me the our last story is beautiful it's beautiful because as i'm as i'm talking now like, i'm getting those goosebumps I'm yeah i'm getting so excited <laughs> like i can't wait now i'm gonna take it out right now <laughs> Yeah, but higher I'm standard. I'm going on a date. Higher, higher standard, not the normal. That's a McDonald's top fifty. But yeah, that's all when we start. We're still going there. We took a look at one day you'll be high. We all start yeah. somewhere. Okay, humble yeah. beginnings. Okay? Humble beginnings. Yes. Believe in each other, guys. <laughs> Believe in each other. That's what I can say. Believe in each other. You know, life has got. Yeah, circles sometimes mm -hmm. the other one is there at the bottom the other one may be there it's very important if you're here believe in your partner and they will come to that level maybe you tomorrow might be the one a bit lower because you believe you in never you know. telling yeah. you we're gonna help each other in this life and also above every everything no matter what mistake trust in god god trust, should be yeah, yeah trust in god i feel like he should even be the foundation of relationship be alone every single thing and i think uh we were able to be that strong because mm -hmm. we knew god is the one that actually made us to be together yeah. i mean besides the part of us meeting at church yeah. but we always can believe felt yeah it, felt yeah. it in our spirit though that that is just no way god is the one that you know mm -hmm. made us come together and yeah besides yeah, yeah. anything else happen, please do pray can you see how prayer worked for yeah. us pray 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 you pray. need to pray for pray without yeah. and yes now you guys are dating but one thing about the enemy he sees well, what's going to happen yeah something that you cannot see he sees tomorrow what's going to happen so you need to pray and cover that relationship you don't know if you and your person or a, tomorrow you guys will be the one born and breaking generational curses in your family or not yeah. obviously the devil will get angry and he doesn't want to see that so we'll start frustrating everything now now, before you guys can even get there mm -hmm. so you need to pray and cover your relationship with the blood of jesus or everything yes. ever sharp leave it tomorrow and then anyway give what hata thank you for watching my video please do subscribe like comment and share and yeah the next see video you know what it is i'll see you guys i love you bye <laughs>